I've never taken DMT. I'm not sure if I ever would take DMT, but um, but it is a mind altering drug. Does it have anything to do with consciousness or origin of life? Probably not. Um, but one of the things I think is super interesting is how molecules are in the brain trigger um, our different perceptions of reality. But I guess the, the, the but the problem of consciousness and the problem of the origin of life are probably similar. Um, and what I mean by that is um, the way that um, we have this space transition in uh, chemical space where we're able to build life forms or life forms evolve, the evolution of problem solving, um, seeing it when you get what you get with consciousness and abstraction, is also something very interesting in how that happens in the substrate. So what I mean, life comes out of chemicals, so we have a cell. Then you go from cells to multicellular organisms. Those organisms have sensors and the ability to move, actuate. So you imagine like a robot. Um, but then you've got this robot, you can sense things, you can move, but then how do you control the movements? And what is an evolution selection produces the ability to do abstraction. And that is where consciousness comes from, right? In consciousness, you have to be able to remember the past, experience the present, and imagine the future. Imagine, if, and this is all important for your survival. And so selection invents the origin of life to make selection of life forms. And then selection again invents consciousness for us to improve our ability to survive. So I think through survival, but I think with DMT, I, I, yeah, I, I would love to understand the process of consciousness with these molecules, which is probably what you're getting at. And um, I think there's so much research to be done there. It's unbelievable.